Okay, this is a tiny, tiny little haul from the other day. Um, I went to the charity shop because I had an appointment, so I just thought I'd pop in. And I got this Keith Herring t-shirt, and it's very 80s, and that's what I thought. I thought, oh, it's kind of, you know, 80s, 90s style. And it's not, it's quite modern. But if you manage to find a Keith Herring t-shirt, I'd pick it up because you never know. Because if you find the metallic one, that's black and it's kind of got like silvery, kind of what I say, they go for like 30 quid. Which I'm like, mm. and this was only a pound, so I, I put it up for like twenty pound, and it's already gotten uh, two watches. Uh, now I got this. Um, uh, I basically got these in the same shop, usually where I get clothes from, but they've uh, stopped being a pound shop, a uh, pound charity shop, and they've started going up to normal pricing. But these, I'm going to start with these. These were a pound each. Scan that in. <laughs> Uh, that was like 20 quid, if that. Uh, but this, <laughs> I got for a pound, and there's loads that are selling between 60, well, 50 and 70 pound. There's one at auction at the moment at 79 pound. There's one at buy it now at 100. And yeah, it's got everything, and it's just Oracle cards. Like, I think the tarot cards for like past lives. I oh, can't get them out. Um, this little book in there, and it, it, all the cards are gilded. It's quite posh. But yeah, I'm really impressed with that, so hopefully that'll sell soon. Um, now this, um, this is a uh, dress, oh sorry not dress, backgammon, ah, and it's denim, it's like a denim, I don't want to close the case because it'll all go in there, look it's got the price tag on, £3.50, I just picked it up because I thought it looked cool and it's like hippified and it's, it's gorge, um, now I typed in backgammon, case, denim, and it came up with one that was a £1,000, I nearly died, it's not that one, <laughs> this is just your average one. But it was missing one of them. So, today, I knew there was an auction on, so I went down to the auction house just to have a look, you know. And this is the first box. <laughs> um, I, got, I, I saw this, and I, it was, it's a, a velvety kind of suede one. Exactly the same. It's exactly the same. It's just different colour. And I thought, oh, I'll just see what it goes to. Anyway, I got all of this. <laughs> Uh, these as well. It comes with the box um, for two quid. Two quid at an auction, crazy. Cheaper than charity shop. Um, so I, that's complete now because I borrowed one accountant from there and I might keep this one because it's kind of snazzy. Uh, Ted Baker. I didn't even get it for this lot, I got it for this. Um, once I, I might just get one on off eBay, another counter like that. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm going I'm to put this up for like 20 odd, I think. I think the denim one maybe 30, because it's groovy. Uh, yeah, Bugatti. I think it's the cars. <laughs> Look, yeah, it's like card box, but it's Bugatti. And I, think, I don't think it's the actual Bugatti. But then look, Ted Baker. Ooh, let's put that on. There you go, Ted Baker. Card deck. And it's the original cards as well. Your cards. Um, they go for like 12, I think it's 12 pound with postage, I don't know. Uh, these are great, but look, Janet and Jeff uh, writing on <laughs> on this card card game. Uh, yeah. uh, that's like not very much, probably about a tenner if that, uh, ju or just under a tenner. Uh, draft spirit game, it's like a board, but then we've got these lovely things so i might put these up for 12 pound as like a set uh bull set this is actually new it's not the crane sports well it is crane sports but this is pre aldi <laughs> um and it's brand new and it's fab um i've seen one online for like eight um well it's 16.99 plus postage and this is so heavy um so i don't know i don't know what to do about that um yeah maybe 20 pound all in i'm not sure i just want to get rid uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of lucky, isn't it? Literally, the next day, I want I needed uh, to fit, to fit, complete that. Went to the auction house, got all this for two pound. Blah. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of an auction haul now. Box of board games. Also, you think? Um, yeah, basically everyone was walking past it. I don't think everyone knew. I thought they were part. I think they thought this was a part of another one because I was the only one that bid, and I got it for I think it was two pound. <laughs> like this whole box 
Um, Connect 4 is a 1976 version, actually surprisingly not that valuable, probably max £10, but look, it's a bit iffy, so I might have to bundle that up just to get rid of it. Uh, Game of Life, this is an old version as well, you can tell it's old because of this. Ugh. Look at that. Ugh. Yuck. Um, yeah, I haven't checked everything to see if it's all there. Um, yeah, I think you're going to know what's coming now. Brand new and sealed Horsopoly. Now, I, I've i never played it. I don't want to open it. <laughs> I'm going to sell it on the FBA, I think, once I get my thing through. But look, it's sealed, beautiful sealed. I mean, it's just like a little nick there, but yeah. Uh, it's sold on um, eBay for ranges between £15 plus postage, so like £4.50. Uh, so or I've seen one go for £19.99. Uh, that was like the other week, so... I don't know, I'm going to check uh, Amazon um, and just see how I go there. Uh, this Monopoly, The Tropical Tycoon, it's a DVD TV game, so I don't particularly like that. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to double check that, but it's usually about tenner. Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Worthless, really. It's, that's just fodder, I think. Ludo, again, I couldn't find this version, which is weird, but someone paid 99p. Hmm. Um, there's a Monopoly board there, but I might, to be honest, just see if I can get rid of that. I mean, I've got all the monopoly there, can you see? So I'm going to, if whatever's missing out of there, I'm just going to use it out of there. Yeah, not not really a lot. <laughs> but like, I'm definitely going to make my money back. I mean, £2. I've made 10 times that with that. <laughs> okay, these Harry Potters. Um, these are all in, came as a, a set at the auction. There's a uh, Harry Potter 1 and 2 hardback. Not first editions. Well, I think the first editions, but they're the third print because it goes down from like 30, 29, 28. Um, yeah, and this is kind of like the holy grail, isn't it? The, this alone goes for silly money. I think about 20 odd, nearly 30 quid. Um, and they're in bad condition. Uh, so yeah, I got them. And as you know, I'm build up bundles throughout the year. And then around August, I start putting them all up in time for Christmas. Um, so I've got like two or three of these now. So yeah, it's going good. And I got all this for £8. Yeah, no one wanted it. I was like, really weird. Like, I was expecting it to go to about 15 And it was, well, 15 18 at a max, 20 Uh And I would have been a bit mm, about that. But yeah, £8. Perfect. Okay, I'm still looking through some of this. And it's kind of like a mixture of old games, like this. These are quite old. They don't go for a lot, actually. So I might bundle them up. And I've got a couple of other board games, but this this was two pound as well. Uh, and the majority of the stuff that I got, I mean, the only these were the most expensive, at eight pound, but everything else was like two or three pound, which is insane. Uh, when you think like this, a charity shop would be like two pound, two pound fifty, uh, probably more because it's Star Wars. I still need to check that it's all complete, but I'm guessing it is. Um, yeah, this uh, is new and sealed. So that might be an FBA thing, and it's 50 year anniversary. Look, da -da -da, celebration of 50 years. Uh, yeah, these don't actually go for a lot of money, um, even on eBay, so. Yeah, uh, there's an Airfix here. Airfix. It, depending on which one it is, it can actually go for quite some money. The starter packs go for more because they've got the, um, they've got the paint. I've got two already uh, that I got the other week from the car boot, but this is the one... Uh, that's, that's the ratio in it, 172. It's, I think it's the 124 you want because that's a bigger one. And uh, there's one online, I think it's for like 30 quid. But yeah, I think I could probably get a tenner for this. I mean, it's it's brand new, it's, it has been open, but it, it's got all the bits. Um, I might put that in actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think I'll make, I'll, I'll definitely make two pounds back out of all this. But yeah, it might take a while for that one. Okay, this was two pounds as well. Um, yeah, I only got it really for the Peppa Pig stuff. I mean, the dad's arm's broken off. I didn't see that because I didn't have time to properly look. But yeah, I like collecting Peppa Pig and then bundling it up and then selling it on because it's really easy. And it's got it's got a few like naff bits, like the food's bought. I've got like this little shop bundle going on. So I'm going to throw all the foodie bits there. Look at this Fisher Price stuff, like on the farm. There's lots of other stuff as well. Yeah, I don't know who that guy is. Who's this guy? Is this the Mega Box? Ew. Yeah. Yeah. 
brand new, this bow and it, all the figures goes for £20. So, I mean, I've only got the dad, and I think it's George I've got. Hang on, where is he gone? Oh, he's hiding. But I'm going to put it with other Peppa Pig stuff. So, I'm thinking £20 odd pound because all the other bits that I've got as well. Uh, and I don't know, the Fisher Price bits I'm going to have to put together and see what I make out of. There's some McDonald'sy bits in there as well, so I'm just going to like me. Yeah, this is like bundle fodder, really. I am uh, in the middle, if you've not watched my Instagram, um, I'm in the middle of trying to sort out my stock area. <laughs> and it's basically looking like the room of requirement right now, <laughs> out of Harry Potter. Um, but yeah, I've turned these, were like, against that wall there, and I brought them out here, so the shelving faces that way. I've put these two, ooh, these two, this one was over there in the corner, and this one was over here so I put them in there this one kind of was against that wall with those two and I've just kind of flipped that there um, I've got a load of textbooks in this <laughs> it's gonna look really bad look I've got all these and then there's another layer on top uh, underneath the ladder and they're basically textbooks so apart from that one uh, oh no these two um, yeah uh, and they're all textbooks and they're going on FBA once I'm approved once, you know and upstairs I, I've kind of already done upstairs um, but yeah this is my my what's it my my little storage area which is Amaze Balls um, now how am I going to do this <laughs> okay this is dumping ground mainly because because the weather's been so intermittent I've had to pull everything out outside and then bring it in and organize it as time goes on but this is like Ridiculous now. This is like bags and stuff. There's a desk under there, which is where I'm going to be doing all my listing. Can you see that chair? I'm going to zoom in. <gasps> Look, the chair's like, help me. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, and there's actually a TV monitor that's going to go up there. Um, yeah, so this is my. What's it? I'm going to use the open brick pla the brick wall as like a background. And if not, I'm just going to put like a sheet down or maybe put like pull sheet down so I can kind of just do it there because the natural lighting in here is pretty good um yeah okay this is a Sunday car boot haul um yeah I literally I went to a car boot for like three hours and all I got <laughs> was this box um I didn't actually stick around for like the anything you can carry for a pound because I had to go home uh, but I did get quite a lot of items like three for a pound and uh, yeah a pound each that kind of thing uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start off with this this is Lego systems focus why won't it focus ah oh, there you go Lego systems and it's from the 60s it's really old it looks better than I do <laughs> Um, no, so I, I typed that in and everything. I found this one. It's just the box. It hasn't got any bits in. And the Mary Curie Centre, they basically, um, uh, they add one for £28. I was like, what? This isn't... I, you know what I think some of these traders do? Or these uh, house clearances do? They buy, like, auction stuff. And this is obviously from, like, like a charity shop or something. Like one of those, what's it? It's a fish at this is great. I picked this up, I didn't even check it. Just saw a fish price, and I was like, yep, yeah, I'll have three for a pound, I'll have that. Um, there we go. Now, it's a crazy one. You put it all together and everything. It's missing, it's not missing one part, it's missing these two and this one, which we're a bit peeved about. Because a full set, a full one, in America, they, they're the only ones that are listed are in America. And they're going for like $40. Oh no, £40 really. So that would have been good. 33p into £40. Yes, please. Uh, but no, I might either sell it off for bits because parts to go. But I don't know. It's a bit of a shame to kind of break it up. Or maybe I'll try and complete it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I can make my money back easy off that. Uh, now, I saw this. This is a Thor biker jacket. And I was like, ooh, yes. And because he said anything, anything, any three items for a pound. So I was like, yeah, I'll grab these. Um, uh, and I saw this, and I was like, ooh, this is nice, a bag of jacket, Thor, favourite Avenger. Um, yeah, and I was looking through it, and it's only until I got home that I noticed this, look. Can you see? Look at that. Oh. So that needs repairing, or putting in a listing, but everything else is fab. It's fab. Now, brand new, I've seen conflicting, uh, conflicting uh, uh, prices for buying now. And yeah, I don't know, I think maybe 
20 quid. <laughs> yeah, 20 quid I think. Uh, which is fine because it only costs 33p. Um, which is the one? Oh yeah, this one was 33p as well. This was like the bundle. It's a dopey. Disney Plush. Uh, I don't I don't try and sell um, the, the dwarves because they're a bit annoying. Um, 50p each and these Harry Potters. I always say if the Harry Potter's are under 50p, uh, under a pound, pick them up. Um, this is, um, I think this was 50p as well. Um, yeah, I, I'm the same with these. I always bundle them up, bundle up, pick, pick stuff. Because this comes with two carriages and then two of the kids. And I went into B&M today just to get some of the gardening stuff. And yeah, I saw this in the packaging. In, of course, in the packaging. Um, on the shelf. And it was, I think it was something like 19 for 99 So, yeah. Um, glad I got that. Uh, this is this looks like a Digimon, <laughs> but it's not. It is a what's it called? Is it Pooples or Pookles? Come on! It's not. It's because it's folded inside that. Hang on. There it is. Oh, there it is. Popples, is he? And this is another one. I've only seen them in America. Like, hello. Um, yeah, and they range anything. Um, ah, excuse me, itch my nose. Uh, yeah, they range anything from like seven to like 15 pounds. So <laughs> this one in particular is ranges anywhere between seven and 15 pounds. I've typed it in everything. Uh, so I don't know, maybe tenner. I don't think there's high demand for it. Anyway. I don't think they're a thing. You never know. Um, this, I've forgotten the name of this guy. But he's from up, and he's like, I've got the other dog. What's his name? Is it Max? Not Max. The dog that talks, and he's got like the collar that talks and everything. It's from Disney Pixar's up, and this is another one. I need to check to see if it works. But this was fifty p, a little bit. Um, this piggy twenty p, and I love this one because oh, and this is what it needs cleaning. Look at that. But this is one before Disney bought them. Um, so I'm going to double check on that one because it might be worth a little bit more. But I'm trying to do a bundle. Ah, now. Thumbkeys. Do you remember Thumbkeys? I remember like these sort of things like Oh read these banana. Look, like it's ceramic not ceramic, um plastic and then like squishy like beanie things. Uh yeah, thumb thumb key. Got it for a pound and there's the one where it had the bib and in America and it's going for like twenty seven pound. Don't think I can get that for this. Um it does need a bit of work done and it hasn't got the bib. Uh, but I don't know. I've seen some go for like between ten and twenty pounds. So I don't know, maybe fifteen. Uh, Anna Smith. This is a bit of a but. This is a bit of a, a dud. It's not. I was like, ooh, calf kids, and it wasn't. It's one called Anna Smith. Uh, varies wildly. I think the rucksacks do quite well, but I, I paid a pound for this pound. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I might I'll just sell it for a tenner. Get rid of it. Uh, thermos. This was the ooh. This is 50p. I, I, I'm obsessed with it. See, look, this is what I mean. I think they buy from charity shops. Look, it's Age UK. Focus. There you go. I think it's. I think they do buy from like charity. Oh, the charity shops donate it to like an auction just to get rid of it and get a few more pounds, whether they don't sell after months. And then these house clearances come along. But yeah, uh, thermos 50p. I always buy them for like the winter. Um, no, this is a good one. This is a good one. Um, Hong Kong Disneyland. Donald Duck. I cannot find this anywhere. Cannot find it. This was um, 20p as well. Uh, cannot find it anywhere. So, I don't know. I might shoot high for this. Because if it if it's not online anywhere, like then it's kind of rare, isn't it? So, I don't know. What do you think? I'm thinking £15. Pound, 15 or £20. Pound, I don't know. It's only tiny though, so I'm not sure. Um, oh, this is like a retro drum set. Yeah. If anybody knows what brand this is, because I've been trying to find a mark, you know, or something, and it's not happening. Um, yeah, I thought it was Fisher Price, but it's not. This is Fisher Price, but it's not worth anything because you know, it hasn't got the uh, drum thing. But yeah, xylophone and everything. It's, it's cute. Now, this guy, I got these clothing from, and he's one of these people that buys in bulk and just, you know, sells at the car boot, which is fine, you know. But he's a bit of a racist and a bit of a dickhead. Sorry, I'm putting it out there. Not mincing my words, not anymore. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's a bit of a prat. Anyway, but I saw the <laughs> saw this, and uh, actually I saw the ties first, but I'll get to that in a minute. Basically, these were a pound. Fat face, a pound, and it's really nice. And that one goes for about twenty quid. Um, but I like pre-owned as well. Uh, Paul Smith London, Ooh, that's really nice. Sixteen. I think I could get about 
20 quid for that. Um, that was a pound. Um, crack hoppers, they were 50p, which wasn't bad. I thought that was a bit ready. He said, oh, sure, 50p. Um, yeah, Maya pants, another uh, some golfing pants, but they're a bit frayed at the bottom. But they're quite nice, so you could easily turn them up. Um, yeah, I'll get £20 for them. Ralph Lauren polo shirt, pound. Large, pink, real, poo fish. Now, oh my god, I got so. Oh, hang on, look, let me do the tie first. A Balmain tie. Yeah, I could probably get a tenner for that. That was 50p. That's what interested me. I just thought, because um, KLC Reseller Louise, um, she was like, oh, she, it was her tie video that inspired me to get the ties. Yeah. Um, yeah, now, I just wanted to talk about these. These were a pound. Uh, Armani, they're completely genuine, absolutely genuine. I was like, oh my God, look, Armani jeans. You see that? There you go. Ooh. Why won't it focus? There you go, Armani jeans, totally a ridge, um, and this is what piqued my interest, it's comfort fabric, now if it's the comfort fabric one, black label, just look them up, because they do quite well, <laughs> like, like they do pretty decent, I think someone's for like £50, yeah, and I was like, oh my god, and I was like, oh the bottom, oh no, can I save that, and I was like, ooh, if and now, I was like, yeah, I can still save it, I can still make like, you know, 30 quid maybe. <sighs> then I looked in between the legs, and look at the state of that. Like, someone has... I mean, someone's mended them, I mean, fair dues. But look, someone has mended them, someone has... <laughs> what have they done to it to make them rip all the way right around there? Because look, look on the inside. But I think it might have been a project, like an art, um, a fashion... Uh, project or something trying to mend old clothes which is great because I you know I've got a bundle of uh, fashion not fashion designer clothing that I've got like marks or you know like holes and stuff that need it repairing and I might just put them up all online <laughs> but yeah these could have fetched like big money these could have been my like deal of the day but no uh, anyway yeah so this is all my tap <laughs> um, yes gonna have to start listing it it's that photographer uh, picture in it